Hi, my name is Caden George, and my presentation is over the poem Keep Going by Edgar Guest. Um, who was Edgar Guest? Edgar Guest was known as the people's poet. This is because his pieces of literature were usually written to inspire people and the youth. He had a rough childhood. He was forced to drop out of high school and work at a newspaper place. He then worked really hard to get from the bottom to the top at the newspaper company, and this was fi and he was finally able to get one of his poems in the newspaper. Um, and then his poems eventually began to take off, and his poems are, almost all of them are like motivational type of poems, and um, overcoming struggles, and as you can see, his life kind of reflects that in, um, in his poems, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, and here's the poem, Keep Going. Um, I'm not going to read it because I have a video that someone else is going to read it, and it makes the poem sound better, and there's more emotion when reading it. So, uh... Here is the poem. This wasn't read by Edgar Guest, but it was read by someone else. But it's better than my own voice, so. Keep Going by Edgar A. Guest When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, and the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar. So stick to the fight when you're hardest hit. It's when things seem worst that you mustn't quit. Keep going. So yeah, that, that's a pretty motivational and inspiring poem. And um, that voiceover and like that reading just made it sound even more like inspiring, I'd say, than my own voice. So that's why I decided to add this video in here. So to get into the line by line analysis, um, this is stanza one, and I just did four each stanza, and there's four stanzas because if I did each line, then I would have like 25 slides. So I just went stanza by stanza, and the stanzas on the left and the yellow, then my analysis is on the right. So um, as shown in Edgar's first stanza, he rhymes in his poem every first and second line, and then he rhymes every third and fourth line, and this keeps going on throughout the poem. Um, the final line of the stanza, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Um, this represents the title of the poem and sets up the rest of the stanzas. And, um, repetition is used when, um, starting many of the lines with when, and you can see this in the first, second, third, and fourth line, um, when things go wrong, when the road, when the funds, when care is pressing, and this is just repetition throughout, and this is shown a lot throughout the poem. So that's stanza one. And here's stanza two. Um, in the first line, an alliteration is used by saying twist and turns. And this is because um, they both start with T and they're like right next to each other. And um, also figurative language is used at the end of this stanza by stating you may succeed with another blow. And he's not literally talking about... Um, getting hit or something like that he's talking about uh like another struggle that comes at you and adversity and um how you respond to that might make you um succeed and stuff like that and that's what he's implying there he's not meaning that you're going to take another blow like get hit or anything like that um uh this stanza represents um overcoming the struggle and adversity life throws at you and you don't quit 
and um, there's quite a few lines in the stanza that show that, um, for example, when he might have won had he stuck it out, and this is just overcoming the adversity and um, stuff like that. Um, don't give up, though the pace seems slow. And this is just another line showing that. Um, he's just, just saying, keep going. Uh, life is all about struggles and things like that. So it's pretty motivational, I would say. Um, line by line analysis, stanza three. Um, as shown in each stanza, Edgar rhymes in his poem every two lines. This sets up a good rhythm throughout the poem. And since he does this every two lines, uh, rhyming it makes it uh, the poem flow as if it were a song and you could kind of see that in that video that I showed earlier and it just makes the poem better and I feel like it um, you connect to it more when it's more like a song um, repetition is shown in this stanza by starting out a line with the word often and this is seen twice often the goal is nearer than and often the struggler is given up so this is just another thing of repetition shown um, and, uh, imagery and alliteration is, um, shown when he says it seems to a faint and faltering man, and that's obviously alliteration, and then, um, faint and faltering are kind of description words, and it kind of give, gives you an image in your head. Um, and metaphor is used, um, when he says how close he was to the golden crown, and he's kind of kind of uh he's referring golden crown to success so that was a metaphor that he used in the stanza um and this is the final stanza stanza four and um the stanza ends with something very similar to the end of the first stanza which represents the theme of the entire poem and he says it's when things seem worse that you must not quit and he says a similar line he says rest if you must but don't you quit and these are very similar, and it kind of represents the theme of the poem. Um, and he also uses, um, Edgar uses lines like, success is failure turned inside out. And these lines are lines that need to be interpretive, interpreted because they have um, a good meaning to it. And the meaning of this is he's trying to say in this line that there is always success, even in the struggle. And this is an important message to people because people... Um, seem to uh, get down when they're struggling, but um, there's always success in the struggle, which is a very motivational line. Um, poem pattern. A pattern that I found in this poem is the first two lines of a stanza will rhyme, and then the third and fourth lines will rhyme, and this continues all the way throughout the poem. The pattern of this poem makes it easier to read and helps the reader maintain a good flow throughout the poem. An example is the first two lines end with the words Will and Hill, and the next two lines end with hindsight, but this was shown all throughout the poem, which you already noticed, obviously. And the pattern of the poem uh, makes it seem as if it were a song, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, and it just makes it the poem come off better, and I would say more motivational. Um, why I chose this poem? I chose this poem because of the message it gives off. It teaches people to keep going even when the odds are stacked against you. A lot of people today struggle with mental health. So a poem like this reminds them to keep pushing and everything will eventually get better. And this is a very, very powerful message. Especially considering the day and age today when a lot of people are struggling with mental health. And this is just kind of reminding them to keep pushing and everything will get better. Um, <clears throat> the theme. The theme is that sometimes life will be difficult and seems like an uphill battle, but it is how you respond to adversity because you are closer to the top of the hill than you think. This is such an important message because people struggle every day and don't know if they can keep fighting adversity. And they are not sure if everything is going to get better. This poem shares a theme with people that can motivate them to conquer their struggles and get the golden crown, as Edgar would say. <clears throat> and this um, theme is... Uh, shown in each stanza obviously i've talked about this and it's just like a really powerful message um especially for people that are struggling and don't know if they can keep going this kind of reminds them that everything will get better um i have a few questions for the class as well and a few other questions are um keep going talks about tough times and how you have to keep going do you think this poem could help inspire and motivate people of all ages um, second question, 
in the poem Keep Going, what do you think the purpose of this poem is and why is the purpose important to society? Um, third question, uh, in the poem Keep Going, what lines refer to him struggling and what lines refer to him overcoming the struggle after? So these are just a few questions I have for the class and um, you can respond to these in the discussions if you'd like. Um, overall, I'd say um, the poem consisted of a decent amount of literary devices. It wasn't a bunch for how big the poem or for how long the poem was, but um, the poem was just really motivational and inspiring. And I felt like uh, people that read it, it could definitely help them um, in their everyday life and overcoming struggles that they'll face every day. So that's why I chose it. And I was hoping that once someone reads it, it could leave a positive impact on them. So yeah, this was my um, presentation on Keep Going by Edward Guest. Uh, thank you for listening and watching.